I'm going to show you four exercises that you can use to train whenever you are either short on time or whenever you're traveling and don't have any equipment to use to hit a training session. And all you have is your body weight. And this is specifically so you can maintain your sharpness, strength, cardio, endurance technique for fighting. So let's get into it. The first thing you need is the will and the desire to continue training when you are short on time or when you're on the road. And most people just don't have that will. And they decide, well, I don't have time, so I'm just going to skip it. I'm not going to train. And that should never be an option because you can always hit a hardcore five minute session doing any of these exercises. So the very first thing before the exercises is the discipline, determination and the will to continue training regardless the time or the location. The first exercise is of course has to be shadow boxing and all you need is a very small space to shadow box in and it requires nothing else but your hands, your feet, your knees and elbows and if you have a little bit of space you can implement footwork but if you don't you just simply stay stationary and throw down strikes, drill your punches and your combinations and when shadow boxing you can either flow and just work in technique maintaining nice even pace or you can hit a hard session going very intense high pace and very aggressive. Next up is burpees and burpees are the single best exercise that you can do whenever you are short on time and have a limited amount of space and burpees hits everything you need. You're changing levels, get into that low prone position as if you're doing a sprawl and then getting back up and doing a jump squat and burpees are very difficult. They're going to stress your cardio, your endurance and your stamina. So you can do this for reps or you can just put time on the clock and just do as many burpees as you can. So I highly recommend burpees as they are one of the best bodyweight exercises to do to keep you training. Next up is push-ups and push-ups are the quintessential upper body exercise. Now if you're doing push-ups, you should do five finger push-ups or knuckle down push-ups. So this way you continue to build the ligaments and the tendons of your hands and conditioning the knuckles and your wrists for bare knuckle punching. Do not do palm down push-ups. So if push-ups hit your upper body, then you also need to hit your lower body, your legs. And the next two exercises are focused on the legs. The first one is pistol squats. These are the best body weight exercise you can do. They will work your balance, your coordination, and they will stress your leg strength. Now you do have to build up to pistol squats. It's not something you can jump in if you've never done them, but it's something you need to aim for so you can do pistol squats. And if you cannot do single leg squats, do jump squats or regular squats and do them for volume. And number five, I have a bonus exercise for you, which is a pull up. Now you do need a pull up bar to do this on. So this is why it's a bonus. But if you can find one, usually in a park or on the playground, knock out as many pull ups as you can till failure. And pull ups are one of the best upper body exercises that you can do to strengthen your upper body for fighting. Now these exercises can be done anywhere in a limited amount of space in a short amount of time. So let me give you a few ideas on how you can begin to take these exercises and implement them into an actual training session. So the first thing you can do is set a time limit and then pick one exercise and just do as many as you can within that time. Giving yourself short breaks whenever you hit failure and then just continue doing them. So for example, do burpees and set 5 minutes or 10 minutes and just do as many burpees you can within that time frame. You're going to hit a limit where you cannot do any more so you have to give yourself just a short amount of break and then right back into it to continue doing burpees. And this goes for any exercise. You can do 5 minute non-stop shadow boxing at a high intensity. You can do non-stop push-ups for 5 minutes or 10 minutes or non-stop pistol squats or non-stop regular squats and just pump out as many as you can within that time. Another thing you can do is do a round based system is one of my favorites. So what you do is you give yourself a number of rounds, let's say five rounds and at two or three minutes each, let's stick with two minutes and then one minute break in between each round. So for five rounds at two minutes, that will give you 15 minute workout. And then each round you can do one single exercise and just do that on rotation for every new round, you do the same exercise. Or you can do two exercises where you just rotate. One round you do, for example, shadow boxing, another round you do burpees, and then you go back to shadow boxing for a third round. Or you can introduce a third, a fourth, or even a fifth exercise where each round you do, for example, shadow boxing first round, burpees your second, push ups your third, pistol squats your fourth, and maybe regular squats on your fifth. And then during each round, you work and you continue moving without stopping. So that's going to stress you. That's going to work your entire body, hitting every single muscle group each round. A great way to continue training and hit your total body. 
And if you want to take all the guesswork out, trying to figure out what to do, for how long to do it, get the Sprawl and Brawl program that I created, specifically for this reason. It will train you to develop killer fight cardio anytime, anywhere, with no equipment, and only 15 minutes per day. And you just listen to the audio, mp3 file is provided with the program, and just follow my voice telling you exactly what to do, for how long to do it, and when the breaks are. It's one of the best ways to continue training, and all you have to do is just listen to the audio, and just do exactly what I'm telling you to do. And then you're done.